<laughs> no, I, I actually need that. Like, I don't think I want to do this anymore. I love building PCs. It's one of my favorite things to do. There's something weirdly therapeutic about gently caressing all of the components and then silently slipping them into place. Mm. Although, there is one part of all of this that kind of takes away from the therapeutic aspect, and that's dropping screws. Kobe, I drop screws all the time while building PCs and it really gets on my nerve. So I decided to use some operant conditioning to train myself to drop screws less. And considering the fact that I've been watching a lot of Michael Reeves videos lately, it's obvious that the only way to do any form of operant conditioning is by building a robot that tases people every time they do the thing that you don't want them to do. Now, unfortunately, I am way too stupid to build a screw fall detect Punishermatron 9000, but luckily I have access to an Anna who is more than willing to repeatedly tase me every time I drop a screw. <laughs> like, look at how excited <laughs> you are. Now for today's game of let's tase David repeatedly in the butt, we have three rules. The first one is every time I drop a screw while building the PC, Anna gets to tase me in the butt. The second rule is if I mount anything incorrectly and have to remount it, Anna gets to tase me in the butt. And then rule number three is right at the end of the building process, if the PC doesn't start up first try, you guessed it, Anna gets to tase me especially hard right in the butt. Oh, my cat won't stop messing with the camera. And then finally, Anna's actually insisted that right at the end of the video, she also wants to experience what it feels like to get tased. Sorry, I, I wanna be tased. So there may be some semblance of revenge at the end of the video. So with that, let's get into the build process. Now before we get to the build and the potential multiple tasings, um, I'm actually pretty worried, but before we get to all of that, let me just do a quick rundown of the system that I'm building today. The CPU that we're using is the Ryzen 7 3700X. This was in my editing system for a really long time, and I'm gonna pair it with a Gigabyte X470 Aorus Gaming 7 motherboard. This is a real sexy motherboard. And then as far as the graphics card goes, I'm gonna use an RX 580. Doesn't really match the CPU too much, but that's fine. At least it's got a real beefcake cooler on it, so that's the most important thing. When it comes to the cooling, I've really shot myself in the foot here because I'm going with this Z63 uh, all-in-one liquid cooler. Now the reason that this is me shooting myself in the foot is it has many screws. This may lead to my heart being stopped, but that's okay. As far as the SSD goes, we're using a 500 gig RGB SSD, which, you know, makes it better. We all know that RGB stands for real giant balls. We've got 16 gigs of Tridizi RAM uh, running at 3600 megahertz. And then as far as the case goes, it's the new 4000D Airflow Edition by Corsair. They were nice enough to send it over for the video. And then finally, the power supply is a Gigabyte P750GM, which uh, Gigabyte was also nice enough to send over. I'm, I'm so nervous about how regularly I'm gonna get tased over the course of this video that I've actually forgotten what order to build a PC in. Um, so I'm just gonna get some of the boxes out of the way and then hopefully I'll remember. Look at that motherboard. Despite being a bit dusty, this this VRM does, does get my get my pants to tighten a little bit because it is a real beast for Ryzen CPUs. And then you always have to line up the triangle. Although what's really irritating about the newer CPUs, look at how tiny that golden triangle is. Like it's, it, it just looks like a bit on the side of the CPU, but anyway, it doesn't matter too much. There we go, slip that arm down. The box that this case is in looks like it suffered at the hands of a UPS driver who was having a real terrible day. That's okay, hopefully the actual case is fine. Don't drop it. Yeah. We've got some definite foam damage over here, but it looks, it looks like the packaging kind of did its job. Oh yeah, that looks like it's gonna be a really easy case to build in. Let's start off with. It's gonna... This feels really different. Having, having you film me making the video is making me super nervous. You've got some pretty nice looking cables in there, so, so that's good. You're not gonna 
be too desperately in need of sleeve cables to make it look decent. Yeah, it looks nice. Let's drop it in the system. Okay, let's cut that. Yeah, so the captive thumb screw definitely didn't just pop up. Why is this? Oh, it, it, it folds out and you don't. We're gonna cut that out as well, good job. Now, many of you may be asking, why has David not been tased yet? The screw part is still coming. We're getting very close. Okay, so this is for the graphics card. So uh, we're just gonna need some SATA and then we're good. So you plug that into the peripheral bit. This is not a build guide by any by any measure. measure. For those of you that haven't been able to figure that out yet. Oh yeah, I actually forgot I can put RAM in. Now, one of the things that's pretty weird with this Tridizi RAM is it's supposed to be pretty premium RAM, but I found that like, their heat sinks are not particularly well attached. Like, like listen to how jiggly that is. That's not a sound you want your, your expensive RAM to be making. Let me know in the comment section below if you've experienced that with your Tridizi. And they're also super jagged, so they're really painful to push in. So this is the box with all of the screws in, and this is where where the pain and suffering is gonna come from. Oh, it's actually got some, some straps in there. That's really nice, I, I like that a lot. You can use it for, for weird BDSM tricks with your case or whatever. There we go. It's a bit of a tight fit over there, but that's okay. Uh, to actually screw the power supply into place. Kinda line that bad boy up. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this in here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So Neko is gonna Neko is gonna help me put the motherboard in. There we go. That was nice and easy. There's. I really love these. Right. When they when case manufacturers have this little catch in there that like holds the motherboard in place, so that you can put the other screws in. That's very very helpful. Okay. So this this is where the issue starts. Right. Because. The magnetic tip on this screwdriver is not very strong. So like it, see now it works. Now it's messing with me because it's giving me a false sense of security. And then I'm gonna, <laughs> and then I'm gonna like, <laughs> then I'm gonna like have it over. And then it's just gonna, there we go. One down, one down, eight, uh, seven more to go. Um, so again, this one, I'm gonna test it first every time to make sure that it. Oh, I'm so terrified. <gasps> oh no! Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Please don't fall. Oh yeah! Hell yeah! I'm a pro PC builder, yeah. But then I'm gonna get careless. That's the thing, right? It's yeah. gonna be like, oh, this is going so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh no, can I re <laughs> can I reconsider? Like I don't really know if I want this to happen. Ah! Oh, that is ah! Oh, ow! Ow, that was so violent. If anything, the jab was worse than the shock. Ow. I'm actually going to use the super secret secure ninja screw hold. Uh, I think this should work, although I can't Ding. Oh, yeah, there we go. Am I not allowed to use the <laughs> finger? Not until I've dropped you at least three times. <laughs> oh, there we go. And then we have three more, and then we're done with the motherboard mounting. Hey, finger. Okay, 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 fine. Okay, so I'm not... <laughs> Why am I not allowed to use the finger? I feel like... <laughs> I feel like that's unfair. <laughs> There we go, we got it. Okay, and then we have one more. And then we've got the motherboard mounted and I only got tased once, that's exciting. If I... Oh, oh, that was so close. Okay, we're gonna... No! No! Oh. No, I, I actually need that. Like, I don't think I wanna do this anymore. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, just give me... Just give me a moment. Ah! Oh, that is a nice. It wasn't it, the first time. Was definitely not that. That was. <gasps> okay. There, there we go. There we go. We're good. 
There's something wrong. I think this screw hole is defective. <laughs> I can't get this screw in. Maybe the other screw is underneath it. There we go. It's stripped. It's stripped in, but it's fine. Don't don't film it. It's <laughs> <laughs> it's stripped in, but the screw's in there. Okay. It means I'm never gonna get this motherboard out, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. So now the next part of the process is gonna be getting the all-in-one liquid cooler. Uh, <laughs> Maybe in the front. I think the front is probably going to be the better idea clearance wise. Okay, so we have the front ready. Uh, let me get the... Okay, here we have the very fancy all-in-one liquid cooler. But we're going to attach the fans. This is, this is going very well, I just want to say. I am busy four screws down. We've got a fan in. Although this is the easy part. It's it's actually mounting the radiator to the case, which I don't think I've ever done without dropping a screw. There we go. So we've got the AIO ready uh, with no serious calamity. Oh, that's a very, very tight fit for a 280 millimeter radiator in here. Why did I choose to use an AIO for this? <laughs> this is a terrible idea. Okay, we're good. I've actually done this quite well. Now I just need to screw it down. Oh hell yeah. Yay! Yeah, I think we're okay. I think we've, I think we've done this the way I've needed it to. I'm not going to be too bothered about cable management, but I do want it to look, you know, at least a little bit nice. So next up we're going to install the SSD on one of these brackets. Ah! I mean, that feels like I'm using more force than I need to, but it's okay. Back, you just... Wait, 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 wait. There are only two screws on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, you noticed. Okay. Oh, and I put it on the wrong way. <laughs> oh! Oh, that one really... It really hurts this one. Oh! Oh, that one really hurts. I didn't like that last one. Like, in the side, it's it's way worse than in the in the arm. Oh, <laughs> you have to really go to town on it <laughs> to get it done. Nobody does. Okay. Do, just does anybody actually screw down all four screws when mounting an SSD? I usually just do two. I'm actually almost done. I think for the front IO, I'm actually going to use the manual. This is the most common place people make mistakes. So if you, if your system doesn't start up the first time you try and boot it, this is definitely what I'd look for first, is did you plug these little cables in properly? Considering how terrified I was the whole time I was building the system, I actually think it turned out pretty well. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Look at that beauty of a card. Wow, this card is so huge. Like the cable. <laughs> there we go. I think it's a pretty good looking system. So now we just need to plug it in and see if it runs. Okay, now here comes the moment of truth. Let's see if it works. Did I switch the power supply on? Okay, so that's a good sign. There we go. Things are happening. It, it switched on with the button. I mean, those are all good signs. Okay, it's taking a while because it's a new system configuration, so it needs to figure out what everything is. Yay! No tasing for me! It even boots into Windows! There we go. That's that's a satisfactorily working PC, right? I actually don't know if I want the daisy. Oh, please, don't worry. I, I want to be tasing. <laughs> are, you are you sure? Are you sure yes. you want me to do this? Yes. 